It's been a while, but welcome back to another episode of Andrew Plays. As always, I'm your host, Andrew Ambrose, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's game is a bit of a wacky game, a bit of a nutty game. You might even say it's a bit crazy. That's right. It's Crazy Kong Part 2. Um, this game is very interesting. Um, at first glance, you might think this is a, a bootleg of Donkey Kong, Nintendo's Donkey Kong, but actually, the history behind this game is a bit interesting. Basically, from what I've heard, um, Nintendo never officially released Donkey Kong in Europe. What they instead did was they went to this European company called Falcon, um, and they gave them the official... They gave them all the assets of the original Donkey Kong, but they told them to uh, basically make their own version of Donkey Kong, but they gave them the assets. Like, So in Europe, they didn't have Donkey Kong, at least at first. They instead had this special version. They had their own custom version that used um, different hardware, but it's essentially the same game, but it's, but, but it's slightly different. Like... There's act they actually made one Crazy Kong, and then they made Crazy Kong uh, Part 2. Um, but, um, basically, in a nutshell, Crazy Kong and Crazy Kong Part 2. This is Part 2. Um, but, basically, Crazy Kong is Donkey Kong, but, program, but with the code used for Crazy Climber hardware, Nichibutsu's Crazy Climber from 1980. Which is why it's called Crazy Kong, although you could say it's also called Crazy Kong because, like, in Donkey Kong, like, the, the barrels go a certain way and stuff, and the levels are in a certain way, but in Crazy Kong and Crazy Kong Part 2, which is this, um, the levels um, are slightly modified, and the barrels are a lot more aggressive and a lot more random than in Donkey Kong, so it's harder, and it's a definitely a more wild experience, and really fits the name of Crazy Kong, or Crazy Kong Part 2, since it's the second version of Crazy Kong, and my preferred way of doing it, because um, they added some extra stuff, like an opening thing here with, uh, with the gorilla, uh, Crazy Kong here uh, busting out of a cage. You didn't see that in the original game. And yeah, this game is just so interesting, but also very fun to play. Um, if you can find it, like, like there, like, Crazy Kong was made for Europe, but there were some um, mach Crazy Kong machines in the U.S. Like, pr um, made by a company called Zaccaria, which is an Italian company, I think. Um, like, there are some Donkey Crazy Kong machines you can find in the U.S. Mainly, like, in the East Coast. I live in the East Coast, but I've never seen one in person, but there is a Crazy Kong machine at Fun Spot um, in New Hampshire, I think. So, uh, yeah. But, of course, I don't have access to that, and since, and well, I can't really record footage from an arcade machine for this show, and I always use the emulators to help me record, but yeah. Um, so, uh, without further ado, uh, let's begin our play of Crazy Climber Part 2. Yeah, this game uses the Crazy Climber hardware, and you can tell because it uses some of the same sound effects from Crazy Climber, like the jump is the same sound that the gorilla in Crazy Climber makes whenever it punch throws a punch to try to knock your climber off the building that you're trying to climb. And I died. Right on the head with a barrel. Like this game, the, like I said before, the barrels are more aggressive, so if you're a Donkey Kong uh, veteran like me, like, if you're able, if you're, like, really good at Donkey Kong like I am, this might be for you because it's a lot crazier, fitting of the name Crazy Kong. And as I mentioned before, the levels are slightly different, 
as you can tell, the ends of the girders are, are extended, so the barrels don't roll the same, and not only that, but the, the, the second most, the highest ladder, in, I mean, the highest hammer in this game, like, in this, uh, stage, it's impossible to get, because it's too high to jump from the platform below, and if you try jumping from the platform above it, to, to, you jump over to get it, you're gonna fall and you're gonna die. So, it's impossible to get that hammer, it's completely out of reach, so, if you really need that hammer for that part, you're unfortunately not gonna get it. Here's the pie factory. Like, this, this game uses, like, they pretty much use the exact, pretty much a copy of the source code for the very first, um, version of Donkey Kong that was released in Japan where all of the levels are in the correct order, and not only that, but there's also the infamous glitch at the first level, where if you go up to the first thing from the from the base level, and you jump off it, you'll fall through the floor and immediately complete the level. Yeah, that glitch from that the first revision from Donkey Kong is also here in Crazy Kong, or Crazy Kong Part 2. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure not a lot of people knew that, that there are different revisions of Donkey Kong, like, the, the very first version had the glitches in it, the one that was released in 1981, and that version is exclusive to Japan. But then, later on down the line, um, Nintendo made a revision of it that fixed the bugs, but still kept the levels in correct order. And, well, the U.S. version, the one that came out here in the States, um, has the same bug fixes from the second Japanese version, as well as the in the, uh, the weirder, um, level order that most American Donkey Kong players are more accustomed to. Um, I'm not- I'm- I'm not as accustomed to it since the very first version of Donkey Kong I played was the NES version, which had the correct level order, although it was missing the Pie Factory which I didn't find out until, like, I saw a Nintendo Power magazine that talked about Mario's 25th anniversary. But, uh, yeah. But although I did play, although I did get to finally play the arcade version in 2012 for the very first time, and well, it was pretty awesome. Oh, wait, wait, no. Wait, was it 2012? I know I, I played on an authentic machine for the first time, but I think I might have played it before on em, on some sort of one of those 60-in-1 arcade machines. You know, the one of those games that you find at some arcades today with, like, 60 games in one thing. that you, It uses, like, JAMA, and the emulation is, like, crap. Yeah. You also notice here, the Pie Factory level, starting from the second... 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 A uh, loop... The, the, the conveyor belts are extremely fast. Like, it's hard to fight the movement of the thing. You have to constantly jump just to do it. <laughs> the springs make a funny noise in this version. And Mario make... It's like... I love the sound, like, the sound that he makes when the Kong, the sound that Kong makes when he bangs on the girder, that's the same sound as the sound in Crazy Climber when, uh, they drop the girders and the dumbbells on you and it hits you. Like, if, the sound that it makes when it hits you is the same one as that. Yeah, this game was what introduced me to Crazy Climber, because... Like, I first heard about this game, and then I learned that this was taken from a game called Crazy Climber. And then I decided to check out Crazy Climber, and, well, I fell in love with Crazy Climber, and, well, yeah. I love Crazy Climber. I love it so much that I even got the Arcade Archives uh, uh, release of it on the Switch, which is very awesome, because now I can play Crazy Climber wherever I am and whenever I want. Also, you'll notice... Yeah, like, the hammer that's supposed to be there in this game, it's still there. It's just, it doesn't, you can't see it. And, and for any of you wondering, uh, for any of those guys, the big Donkey Kong players who think, does the point pressing work here? Well, I'm doing it right now, and it's not working at all. And unfortunately, they, the point pressing thing is not in this game. You can't do it, unfortunately. Hey, the marriage song! 
I love how Donkey Kong's like head is still upside down and he says, GIVE UP! Can't tell me what to do, I dropped your ass. mention this, but starting with the second loop, um, they remove some holes from the, the girders to make it harder to jump over the barrels, because you don't want to fall through and die. Pie Factory. No! Everyone always says cement. I like to think it's pie. You can't... It's, those are pies, and you can't tell me otherwise. controller for this. I usually mention that, but I forgot to this time, so 
Yeah. Uh, I, I could... I would lift it up to show you, but I don't want to... I don't want to distract myself, because these barrels, they don't play around. They roll around, but they don't play around, either. And also, you'll notice that the... The end of that last girder has been amputated, so I can't just wait under it and then go for it. The barrels just come off, so it's even harder for me to be able to get up to that last one when all the barrels are coming, you know? points. Not my best score. I've gotten like a hundred thousand before I think in this game, but yeah, that's Crazy Kong Part 2 for ya. A fun spin on Donkey Kong that's even crazier, even nuttier, even more insane, and but still a lot of fun to play. If you can get this on MAME and play it, I think you'll have a blast, but be forewarned it's a lot crazier than the original Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong's already crazy enough as it is, so that speaks to how crazy this game is. And if you can find a Crazy Kong cabinet out there, Crazy Kong, preferably Crazy Kong Part 2, then, yeah, you'll have a blast with it. It's, crazy Kong is definitely a very interesting game that I enjoy playing from time to time, and I can recommend giving it a shot if you haven't already. So, I hope you, as always, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Andrew Plays. As always, I'm Andrew Ambrose, and I'll catch you later.